Did you know that man-caused climate change is resulting in less snowfall, but also more snowfall? Or that it leads to drought, except when it leads to flooding? Or that it causes more hurricanes or fewer hurricanes? Or that it causes our days to get longer, but only when it's not causing our days to get shorter? Are you confused? Who wouldn't be? This is where the scientific principle that requires theories to be falsifiable should come into play. Simply put, there must be a way to prove a theory false in order to know if it could be true. This idea was proposed by Karl Popper in the mid 20th century, and it has been a central tenet for all scientific inquiry ever since. For example, horoscopes are not scientific because there's no way to disprove claims that are broad, vague, and contradictory. How would you disprove a horoscope that says, now is a good time to be starting something new, or the universe is pushing you into a more polarized environment? Conversely, Sir Isaac Newton's theories are falsifiable because we can test the idea that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. We know that principle is true. Now consider some of the claims being made by climate change activists. We've been told climate change leads to less snow and then it leads to more snow. It makes wet places wetter and dry places drier, except when it's making wet places drier and dry places wetter. It causes more hurricanes and fewer hurricanes, longer bird migrations, and also shorter bird migrations. Global warming causes more crime, but get this, reducing crime causes more global warming. And if you disagree with any part of these crazy scenarios, you might just be a climate denier and belong in jail yourself. And that's only a small sampling of all the things attributed to climate change, the opposite of which are also attributed to climate change. Karl Popper would call BS on all of this. If any and all climate conditions are being attributed to climate change, then how can we design any observation or experiment that would make climate change falsifiable? We can't. If it's not falsifiable, it's not science. Today, a sort of climate astrology has taken over. Many climate claims have descended into the realm of the predictions of Nostradamus or the Mayan calendar. There's no way anyone can falsify global warming theory now because any weather event that happens proves their case. And if that isn't confusing enough already, how do we design an experiment to know what changes in climate are due to human activities or part of the natural order of things? In other words, is there any experiment or observation that can distinguish what is man-caused climate change and what is simply just natural climate? There isn't one today, and there may never be one. If scientists want the public to take the theory of man-caused climate change seriously, they need to become a lot more disciplined. Claiming that human-induced climate change is responsible for just about every typical and atypical climate event doesn't pass the sniff test. Essentially, climate activists have announced that many bad things will happen because of man-made global warming. And lo and behold, every time something bad happens, they say, see, we told you so. As Karl Popper would say, a theory that explains everything doesn't really explain anything. For the Clear Energy Alliance, I'm Mark Morano. Power on. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified when new Power On videos are released. And follow our social channels for more great energy content.